in terms of reflecting on so much here that we've talked about today. I think that, that quest for sharing information about this, giving people that quality information to make informed choices couldn't, couldn't be more critical than it is today. So perhaps a final thought is back to the, the Future of Cloud series. Obviously, the episode coming up, Nick, can I give you a kind of final sentence or two just to kind of summarise what we'll be diving into on that show? Yeah, awesome. Um, we're, we've only just scratched the surface here. I mean, it's been a superb conversation. Thank you so much for the for the insights as well, Sally, because we're learning through this uh, uh, as just as much as everyone else is in this uh, in these new areas. But um, in this in the next episode, I highly encourage uh, all the viewers to check it out. Um, we're we're obviously taking a closer look, a little bit deeper dive around these communication technologies and and how they're they're kind of shaping how we see the cloud of the future. Um, and obviously, with all the hype around generative AI today, you know there is actually some important intersection uh, and transitions happening at that that point between networks and the cloud that um, that we're wanting to delve a little bit deeper in. And obviously, this is. This is very important when we think about AI applications in the future. So I'm joined by Sean Hackle, who's our VP of 5G strategy, um, super knowledgeable expert in, in these, these areas and ultimately how we're going to discuss how uh, modern connected apps are, are, uh, are transitioning and, and revolutionizing some of the experiences for our, for our customers and our telecommunications partners, because this is very much about how they can transform themselves. So highly recommend you check it out. Um, and uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you there. And obviously please do ask us questions because uh, we very much want to engage with uh, everyone on this topic. Love that, Nick. Thank you. And on that subject of questions too, that was going to be my final point too. On the episode so far, so engaging in terms of the interaction. Uh, oh, I know thanks. things get really followed up on, you know, so that feedback is, I thought I just wanted to share that because it's, it's really important, like active listening and responding to the audience and things. I've seen that happen in real time. So, and, and outside of that too. So definitely everybody watching, do get involved in that. And again, catch up on the series on demand as well, because there's something for everyone, for organizations of different sizes and across verticals too.